All right, let's go. Let's do it. Will DJ Snake show up later today? Oh, I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, let's see. How many, uh, I have one star, so I probably can't upgrade everything. The game says I'm at 68% completion. We were, we were this close. All right, let's go. Uh, I think we go up here to go talk. Is this where we're going? Ah, to the isolated aisles. That's where we're going. Uh, Nanny Skexis. Thank you for the eight months. Thank you, Nanny Skexis. I appreciate that. But yeah, Cat was, uh, it's funny. Cat's, Cat's used to, uh, climbing all over my wife when she was waking up and stuff. But, uh, this morning the cat was all over my head, running across my head, like kneading my head. <laughs> it's like, I guess, I guess this is what my wife deals with every morning. When, when I'm around, when she's around, it's definitely her. When not, she's not here. Cats all over me. Snake using the audio yesterday was hilarious. It was a really bad timing, too. All right, four go planes. Zero of 50, so are we trying to collect? I guess we're trying to collect these things. All right, well, let's take a look. Kitty was hungry. They've got they've got food. That, that had more to do with we want you to wake up. Anything else? I think I have a, if I'm not mistaken, I think I have a hammer thing. Oh, that's got some range. We'd like to do Coliseum. Oh yeah, we should. Uh, we could probably do that too. Check out the Coliseum. You got a piece of Leon Soul. If you collect more of these scattered soul pieces, you might be able to save him. Try to collect more pieces of Leon Soul. Okay, so we want to collect. Now there's like a new collectible item, I guess. Alright, cool. Aha. Ow. I found another piece of your soul. Okay, oh, something else here? Oh, that's just that's just the thing that's being left behind. I can't watch the stream. I just bought the game. It's a really, really fun game. I am very I was very surprised by this game. The previews didn't make it seem all that great. The previews weren't that great. It's kind of funny when a game has bad previews. I almost feel like, oh, then the game's actually going to be baller. <laughs> Speaking of games with bad previews, I actually would like to play more Returnal soon. Definitely gonna play some Returnal this week. Yeah, let's grab this. No, I don't want. Fuck, I don't want that. Oh. I wanted the. Uh, this is what I want. Yeah, that's what I want. Hmm? Guys, said that the previews were dog shit, but the game was actually good. Damn, I guess you can't. Uh, you can't do that to this guy. Dude, I love Returnal so much. I love that game. Am I going to check out Ghostwire Tokyo? Oh, you're not the first person to ask me about it. I don't, I don't really... I honestly don't even really know what it is. I have no idea. <laughs> it's always hard. Like, I feel like for, for my process... Here is my process for what game am I going to play. I'll usually, like... If I haven't heard of it, I'll watch, like, maybe, like, a minute of gameplay. And then I'll be like, all right, I'm playing it. That's, that's my process. I've heard of Ghostwire Tokyo. I've seen none of the gameplay, so it's kind of like hard. You know, it's kind of hard for me to tell. But that's usually my process. Like, all right, I'll play it. Fine. It's a first person horror game. Wow, I love horror games. Okay, last one. It's not really horror, a good Halloween type game. Was there some gameplay at the last day to play for for what? It's not a horror game. Okay, so I don't I So so far chat has told me it's a horror game. It's not a horror game. Okay, so extremely descriptive. Thank you guys. I no longer have any questions. <laughs> All of my questions have been answered. It's bipolar. I like the spacesuit. 
First person game where you fight Japanese folklore monsters, demon with hand gestures. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I might have seen a preview for it a million years ago, but I don't, I don't remember. Okay. Hmm. They're offering me crystal or this one. I'm going to keep the spacesuit. Going to be boss fight or something? What do we got? Mm, I thought there'd be a secret here. Whoa. Ah! Whoa! It's like a super version of this boss. All right, get fucked, bitch. Heart doesn't seem so hard. I'm forever cursed with lunar magic questions. Well, it's hard to be cursed with lunar magic questions when you don't see them in chat. Yeah, all the abilities are super fun. They're all super fun. I, I don't know if I can like, oh, that ability is bad. Um, maybe the drill, but even the drill is kind of cool because you get to go in little underground areas and stuff. So I don't know. I like all of the abilities. I was Star Wars last night. I didn't end up watching Star Wars didn't end up watching it. Probably my probably my favorite is using the the fully charged hammer hit for ma for the maximum damage. Uh, I like to run a strength build in Kirby in the Forgotten Land. There's something really satisfying about doing an entire boss's health bar in one hit. There's something satisfying about it. I don't understand why people insist on explaining things to me in a, in a, in a game. I didn't read it. Like, why they even bother here? Let's go take the sword. A game like Kirby, where it's like pretty clear I'm, I'm a fairly competent person playing video games. Why they feel the need to like explain shit to me. Oh, uh, Barbarous King, if, well, as you're playing the game, you gotta use this, and then if you don't do this right, and then after this part, Elf is gonna... I don't know why you feel the need to, to explain this to me. Like, I've never played a video game, or like, I can't figure it out myself. I'm just trying to get the Meta Knight power up. Okay, I, apparently Meta Knight's just gone. Apparently it's just gone. All right, goodbye. It's just gone. So wait, how, how do I jump? Do I press A? To jump? Is that oh oh I press A to jump and B to fire? Oh okay, thanks chat. I needed that help, man. Imagine. I can't believe I figured that out. Really complicated. Aha! Oh, I guess I can't reach that? Let's see. Ah, uh, maybe this is it. Aha! Okay. Neat. There are some un unworthy chatters. There are always, there are always the unworthy. What do we got here? Really up for discussion as to how you pro map your controllers. You see, I, I myself pro map everything to the button beats the game quick. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> how is this game feeling? I I love this game. I love this game. Um, I really, I really can't think of anything I could really criticize about the game. Like, I don't know. I don't really know if I have any like actual criticisms of it. I feel like it looks, it's adorable looking. It plays really well. The level design is, is great. It looks great. Uh, maybe the music could be like, maybe the music is like a little weak, but like maybe, but that's being really nitpicky. Some of the music has been good for sure. I really don't have like a lot of criticism. I don't know if I'd say 10 out of 10. Um, 
at some point, personal preference is going to come into it. And as much as I do enjoy this game, I don't think Kirby will ever fully be my cup of tea. Uh, I do really enjoy the game, though. It's a really good game. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. This kind of seems like it's like uh, harder sections of earlier levels that have been like remixed together for the like the darker side, so to speak. The enemies are too cute. Yeah. Oh, you know, I probably wanted that sword, honestly. Ah! Go, go, go. Ow! I lost my bomb. Huh? Oh, I see another. Uh, way too heavy for suicide bombers. <sighs> What's up, uh, Spud Boy? How's it going? Looks like you found already collected all the pieces of Leon's soul in the spot. Let's check out the next area. What does that mean? <laughs> so all of them in this area. When she says check out the next area, does that mean just jump here? Is that, is that what that means? Can my five-year-old play this? He played my Mario Odyssey and managed to beat it with some help. If, you, if your kid beat Mario Odyssey, your kid could definitely beat this game. This Odyssey is harder than this game for sure. Uh, this game also has uh, it's called Spring Breeze Mode where uh, if he was struggling, you could put it on like Spring Breeze Mode. It makes apparently it's like even easier. So uh, yeah, I, th I think definitely. Mario Odyssey is, is more difficult and also Mario Odyssey puts you in like more stressful situations where it's like you miss the jump you die that sort of thing this game you can you can almost constantly float like I am so you're, you're not really gonna fall in pits too often in this game you know Well, yeah, it depends. it's probably the same thing where if you wanted to 100%, this game would become significantly more difficult for a kid, but... Uh... Yeah, even pits don't instant kill you, right? Okay, so I obviously see that. Uh, let's see, is the, does this trigger that? Aha, I wonder what happens if you uh, miss your opportunity there. A kid could definitely 100% this game. Yeah, I think so. I think so, for sure. Now let's grab the uh, cutter. I feel like I uh, never really use this power up much. Got the old buzzsaw hats. Ah. Huh? Game just think, kid, think kids are dumber than they are. I wouldn't say that this game, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm fairly jaded myself, and I wouldn't say that this game felt like it was too easy or like, oh, it just, it just gives it to you. This game's at a decent level of challenge. The boss fights are pretty challenging in this game. The kid is having trouble with better chaos. Any pointers? Your kid should get good. You already collected all the pieces of Leon's soul in this spot. Let's check out the next area. Trash gamer. Bring Calamite. Okay, what do we got? Ah. 
Uh, let's see. So, okay, I want to bring this this way. Uh. <laughs> All those crystals are canceled. They don't beat it. Hmm. Smoke freezed every boss to death. I've actually prefer, honestly, like, uh, I, I don't know which one is best or which one's easiest. And I mean, honestly, who cares how you beat bosses in Kirby, right? Uh, I've actually prefer. Oh, no. I've actually had more fun fighting the bosses with uh, just Kirby. The power-ups are fun, but uh, fighting the bosses as just Kirby has been more enjoyable for me. Not really sure I, exactly why. I just feel like it's been it's been more interesting for me than, than just using an ability and spamming it. Quite frankly, I could care how I could care less how you do it. Hello, hello. 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 Hello, no. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. Hi. Hello. Hello. That's a nice snake. Hello. 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 Hey, I gotta work. I gotta work. I have to work. My chatters are getting mad at you. My chat's getting mad at you. Sorry. They say, Barb, where's the gameplay? The stupid cat's taking all the time. All right, Twitch chat's tired of your bullshit, cat. Never! <laughs> where's the gameplay? Sorry, kitty. You gotta go. Ah! Boys! <laughs> Where cow, where kitty? He's on the he's on the floor over here. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, uh. I'm gonna find out that I didn't need to bring this fucking thing the whole way, aren't I? Oh, there's just like star pieces here. Okay. I shouldn't have done that. Should not have done that. <laughs> that was a bad move. Uh, yo, what's up, Smoke? Oh, what's up, uh, Fail Stream? How's it going? Uh, Jugger Nerd, thank you for the 25 months. Thank you, Jugger Nerd. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Huh? Oh, 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 oh. 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 Seems like you needed it. Ooh, boss fight? Uh, all right, I got dude, I gotta go hammer. I'm not sure if it's a boss fight, but I gotta go hammer. I simply have to go with the hammer. So did I miss eight of the Leon souls? Is that what I did? I missed like eight of them or something? Phantom Goramondo. Okay, so hitting him with the hammer is going to be pretty... With the full charge hammer is going to be pretty tough. No, piece of shit! You mother... Yeah. Man, he moves too much. It's going to be basically impossible to hit him with the fully charged hammer, I think. I really want to hit him with it, too. Dude, that move is actually really fast. The grab right there. I just wanted to hit him with the hammer. There 
we go. <laughs> No! I just wanted to hit him with that. Let me unga bunga. Dude, you all right, so there's like some kind of weird if you dodge a hit, you get like an extra. Do you see that? If you dodge and then hit, you get like an extra damaging attack by doing that. That's interesting, actually. Yeah, yeah, this game does have a dodge. It's like a parry, yeah. A perfect dodge. So yeah, if you, uh, so yeah I, I actually forgot about this mechanic too. If you press R, you can block attacks and you can also roll. Uh, the rolling is based, like you basically never need to use it. In some of the fights, it's actually fairly useful though. It's actually fairly useful. That was a cool fight. That was actually a cool fight. I liked it. Uh, it, it definitely has iframes though. It definitely does have iframes. All right, so let's see, how many did I end up getting? I missed three in the whole fucking level. Only three, goddammit. Oh, no bitch. <laughs> yeah, the bosses are quite good in this. Yeah, I totally agree. Uh, you finally defeated Elden Beast. It happened at 9 p.m. last night. Well, hey, congrats, man. <laughs> Will I do the Kirby dance when you finish this game? Miyazaki worked in this game. I don't know what you're talking about. The bosses are too good in this for Miyazaki to have worked on it. <laughs> Alright, so I missed, uh, what is it? Three pieces of Leon soul. <laughs> and burn. I've enjoyed this game. Yeah, I've enjoyed it too. I've enjoyed it too. Alright, Orgo Bay. There's 48 pieces here. There are definitely some fucking terrible, like, kind of bad poorly realized bosses in Elden Ring. Definitely. And even if every fucking boss... Oh, you know what? I just realized I need ice to uh, get rid of this. Even if every boss in Elden Ring was incredible, which they're not. Let's say they all were. They even they repeat them so many times in a lot of cases that like it kind of undercuts the value of it. Like Matt, if you fought Artorius like 18 times, by the end of it you'd be like, oh my god, fuck off, Artorius, go away, leave me alone. <laughs> uh. So wait, did I wait? Did I just miss out on that Leon soul? Did I just miss out on that. Yeah, I guess I missed out on that. Oh, rip, I guess. Uh, could you just jump higher, please? There it is. Jeez. Uh, Elden Beast isn't great. I like Malaketh, and I know that's slightly controversial. I'm okay on Malaketh. He's definitely not my favorite boss, though. He's alright. Definitely got a cool design. There's some things about the fight I find annoying. This uh this might be pretty fucking tough.
Okay, well, maybe not. Whoa! That's a new one. Woo. Okay, okay, cool. Let's grab the sword. I abuse confusion. I attack relentlessly. <laughs> Take the old Meta Knight one. So I've been messing my head against walls since millennia. Any advice? Uh, I mean, I don't know what your build is or what how you're fighting her, but uh, she's rough. Just keep mashing your brain against the wall, I guess. Uh, if you need, if you didn't know it, you can't dodge through her. There's no way really to dodge through the first flurry of her slash attack. Like you can't dodge through it. So uh, keep hitting the wall. Yeah, pretty much. Roll forward twice. Oh, you know, if I do this, I gain the, uh, hang on. <laughs> they should play like, oh, hey, the deep sleep is uh, recovering me. Check it out. Hey, that's actually cool. <laughs> nice. So the sleep is actually, uh, is actually pretty good. Pretty funny. Peepo Sleepo. Okay, goodbye, sword. Hello, spacesuit. Chaos still the worst. Everybody knew cool animated emotes. Barb, cr Barb, <laughs> Cribby. <laughs> emotes are hard, man. Emotes are hard because, in my experience as a streamer, the more the more effort I put into emotes, the less people respond to them, and and people care not as much. Whereas, like a random funny face from Discord will actually like people will actually get excited about that and they really like the emote so <laughs> I also find in my experience that uh, the more effort so the more effort I put into an emote the, the less it just works out so if I like oh let me put a lot of effort in these emotes also every time this is my point I was gonna make I, I lost my I lost my train of thought whatever emote I take away from chat like if I take away Let's say I take away fucking Barb Taxic and I get a new emote. People will talk more about, hey, what happened to the old emote? Where is it? I miss it. Then be excited about the new emote. You know, people will just be so mad and upset about losing that one. We need the old emotes. So basically, anytime I take away an emote, it's like I got to pay for it. Ah. Mm. Ow. Just tell Twitch you need more emote slots. How mother... Oh my god, I got fucking flat. Holy shit. That was my favorite emote. Dude, I still have people complaining about emotes I took away like years ago. Like emotes that have legitimately been gone for such a long time. Hey, well, Barb Dumper wasn't my fault, all right? If you get mad at me for Barb Dumper, that one you can't blame me for. You miss Barb Miku. Uh, Mr. Combustion, thank you for the 22 months. Thank you, Mr. Combustion. Fuck, man. <laughs> God damn it. 
Uh, Hendrix, thank you for the reset. Thank you, Hendrix. Appreciate the 10 months. Uh, Joe Stars, thank you for the 19 months. What's my favorite boss in Elden Ring? My favorite bosses in Elden Ring are Margit, Moog, and Morgoth. Those are my favorite Elden Ring bosses. Ah, secret path here. The three M's. Did you just say the same name three times? Believe it or not, I did not. Let's go take. Uh, uh, actually, you know what? I want. I, I, I'm going to stick with the spacesuit here. Ah. So I, I guess, I guess, I didn't finish the level because. Elphalyn didn't tell me that I got all the pieces, I guess. So I guess I missed something. Uh, CC Medora, thank you very much for the 10 months. Thank you, or for the 13 months. Dracovich, thank you for the 45 months. Omega Boom, thank you for 10 months. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Uh... Okay, I guess we're done. Do, do, do. It seems weird that you can go. Oh, wait, hang on. No, we're not done. Gotcha. Yep. Can you say a spoiler? God damn it, shut the fuck up. Jesus Christ. Can I spoil? Can I spoil? Can I spoil? I want to spoil. God, shut up already. Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, Paul Gillespie, thank you for the five months. Thank you very much. God, can't you be quiet? Fuck's sake. Oh, hang on. I see you there. Got him. Not story related. Yeah, that's what I, I need. I need. I don't want spoilers relating to the story. Shut the fuck up. I never really care about having like things explained to me. It's just like the audacity of like. I gotta tell him. I can't hold it. Like, shut the fuck up. Uh. All right, where are we going? I'm sure I've missed, uh, in, in a lot of the sections, I'm sure I've missed a number of the things. Okay. Ah, okay, so I need to, I basically need to have that triggered everywhere i think it's kind of it's maybe slightly inconvenient because if you're at the end of a level are you gonna like go all the way backwards through it like probably not it's just irritating uh shade shane thank you for the resub i appreciate that thank you so much uh, i guess let me grab the hammer here uh thank you shade thank you paul uh nick temple omega boom thank you for the resubs thank you very much only a slight spoiler. Uh, well, okay, bye. <laughs> ah. Seven spree. Well, fuck me. How was I supposed to do that? Can you can you retry this part, maybe? Ah. Wait. So I can't jump up this high. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Got you. 
Uh, Fon John, Gift thank you for sub. the 12 months. Cypher Dusk, thank you for the gift sub. Thank you very much. Really appreciate that. Uh, thank you. Only Kyo, thank you for the uh, 100 bits. Bard Name Tom, thank you for the gift sub. Ketheries, thank you for 25 months. Thank you very much. I always do that. I'm always trying to suck up the new ability and I lose the last one. I always do that. Ah. admire the uh, level design in this game. Ah. Bro, fuck the level design in this game. <laughs> I wonder, did they let you, like, retry this, or... Or no, I wonder. Oh, really? Oh, so this thing uh, can't go in the water, I guess. Makes sense. Huh? Never compliment the level. It's so true. Oh, they do let you retry it. Okay. Uh, thank you for the bits. Appreciate it. Uh, Amoeba of Doom, thank you for 32 months. Bag Booter, thank you for the 11 months. Thank you very much. Uh, sure. Try again. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I definitely feel like uh, the game's difficulty has certainly risen in the sense, like, if you want to, like, do everything there is to do in the game, it's going to be much more difficult, for sure. You can definitely see that. So you can, like, kind of slow down. Ooh. Uh, DD Frosty, thank you for 12 months. Polyhydride, thank you for the bits. LJ, thank you for 19 months. Thank you very much. All right. Uh, Doc DK, thank you for the 1,000 bits. Thank you, Doc DK. Ow. Oh, oh, oh. Almost didn't get it that time. Whee! All right, cool. That time we got it all, I think. Uh, low-key Kirby is a better franchise than Sonic. A lot of franchises that are better, probably better than Sonic. So wait, I still missed something? Because the little elf lady didn't say anything. I still missed something. Is there anything out over here? Let's see. Enemies can drop those. Yeah, yeah, I'm looking around. I think usually the enemies that drop them have like the black goop on their Oh, Yep, there you go. <laughs> yep, there you go. All right. Uh, thanks for the bits. Something, uh, something that would help you about to, to understand about streamers is that uh, me most of us, many of us, are not performing monkeys that will like. Most of us aren't performing monkeys, at least not for one dollar. Now, if you want us to be a performing monkey, you got to throw a lot more money at us than that. See, so like Hamden, twenty gift subs. All right, that then I'll be a performing monkey. <laughs> that one, yeah, that one, that one, be a performing monkey for that. But a hundred bits, no, that's not worth it. That's not worth it. If you want me to be a performing monkey, then then it co it's going to cost a bit more. Uh, Hamden, thank you so much for the twenty gift subs. Thank you so much. Hamden, I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. 
You have to pay for the monkey to perform. I ate a hot dog for like 500 gift subs. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Bits. Yeah. F 50 gift subs and I'll eat a hot dog this week. <laughs> uh, Poison bits. Blanche, possibly Dave. Thank you for the bits. Appreciate it. 7 a.m. Don. Oh, I love how chat and I were both wrong about how to say his name. Oh, it's this fucking tree. Urasuma. It's this fucking tree. Kirby fucking hates this tree. Bits. Ow. Where are you? Jeez, where are you going? You know what? Fuck this. I'm dropping the ability. The ability's gonna get me fucking killed. I'm gonna fight you in true Kirby style. Bits. Kind of getting fucked up right now. Dude, it's kind of hard to get your hits in here. It's like actually kind of hard to get your hits in. Thank you for all the bits. Thank you for the gift subs, guys. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. It's like actually kind of difficult to get your hits in on this boss. So like it like constantly baits you. It's like, oh, you want to get your stars? What the fuck? A rock just appeared in my fucking face. God damn, dude. <laughs> oh, I didn't even realize I have one in my mouth. Jeez, man, I'm getting fucked up here. I know I'm getting goddamn wrecked at the moment. Oh, I can't see shit. What the fuck? Wow. What the fuck was that? Jeez, man. That was goddamn rough. Yeah, that was fucking rough, dude. I lost 100 souls. Uh, yeah, thank you for all the bits. I uh, appreciate it. Thank you again, Hamden, for 20 gift subs, dude. Melamine, thank you for the 27 months. This is Andy. Thank you for 42 months. Thank you very much. Dude, you like, you just can't get your hits. Like, it, it offers you stars, but it doesn't matter. You can't get hits. It only seems like you can. You actually can. You gotta wait it out. How many, does he, how many times does he blow? One. Two. Three. Okay. Two. 
what did I just get hit by? I don't even know what I got hit by there. He's some bullshit, man. Okay, I think maybe I understand why Kirby hates this fucking tree. Man, all of that, and I can only get one hit. All of that, I can only get one fucking hit. All that, I can only get one fucking hit. Uh, blocking is good. Blocking is definitely good in the game, for sure. A fucking crazy boss. Holy shit. I can't see the fucking Miyazaki designed this shit. I just want to be able to see where I'm get fucking going. Can we see? Almost got him. Hey, that was a crazy boss. That was actually kind of tough. If Miyazaki made this, my camera would be spinning and flipping the whole time. Now do it without damage. Damn. That would definitely be rough. All right, let's see. So how many pieces do we end up with here? That was a pretty cool boss. Yeah, dude, Kirby fucking hates this tree. How many do we end up with here? Be focused on the goatee. I missed, dude, that's two levels in a row. I missed it by three. <laughs> that's two levels in a row. This is a stupid fucking soul patch. You look at the tree's dick the whole time if Miyazaki fought it. Yeah, I, that's probably true, right? Fuck them trees. It's a go tree. Ugh. So, I don't know, maybe you don't necessarily need all of them, like, every single piece. Maybe you just need most of them? I'm, I'm not sure. Maybe you don't need every single one. Is this my second playthrough? No, it's my first time playing. You forgot about claw Clawrine? You're just fooling yourself? It's optimistic. I was gonna have the trees have ankles, but I've seen Elden Ring. Uh... How long is this game? Well, I played for, I played about like 11 hours on the first two days. I played six hours the first day, about four, four and a half ish hours yesterday. And now we're an hour in today, about an hour or so. It's a pretty good, uh, pretty decent length for a Kirby game, honestly. All right, Forgo Park. There's a little uh, minimum section of the thing at the bottom. Yeah, yeah, it kind of seems like you don't necessarily need every single one. But who, who knows? We'll find out as we go, I guess. Ah. Can I? I wish the music in these sections was a little bit more varied. Uh, I'd say that the music in this game is overall pretty good. 
And uh, it's not like it's not quite as good as Odyssey's music or anything like that. But you know, it's it's that's a pretty that's a pretty tough thing to live up to. So music in this game has been pretty good. Ow! Can't all be fucking Mario Odyssey, right? Was that a hole in the floor? Didn't we just get it? We broke it open with the thing, right? Oh, uh, I think I need the cone to break that one. Hang on. Let's go back and get the cone. You went past one? I will fucking turn this shit off and play Elden Ring so fast it'll make your fucking idiot head spin. <laughs> a I will turn this shit off so fast and play Elden Ring. Shut the fuck up. If it means getting rid of your dumbass, I'll fucking do it. Ah, go! No balls to do it. The difficulty of the curve on the post game world reminds you of 3D world. Yeah, I think 3D world is the closest parallels for this game for sure. Okay, let's so we're gonna bring the cone over here. It's like, it really is like many of you just have no idea how fucking irritating you can be. <laughs> it really is. It really is. You are, you are so blissfully unaware of how fucking annoying you can actually be. It's amazing. Honestly, amazing. I salute you. I wonder if you can uh, roll through these things. Not me, surely. No, he must be talking about somebody else. Uh, so there's a switch here. Well, motherfucker, where's the goddamn switch? Oh, hang on. There we go. In my final form. You are the hardest working streamer, entertaining and pretty okay at games. What's up, Nikki? We'll grab the uh, we'll grab the sword here. I like that I like that this game has a parry system where if you like roll perfectly you can also do, you can do like additional damage. <laughs> I enjoy that. Great enemy felled. I do enjoy that. Okay. Oh, yeah, 
yeah, it's a great game. Yeah, it really is. I'm glad you enjoyed it as well. I've had a great time with this one for sure. I was uh, I was unsure because I'm not a big Kirby fan. Like I was unsure how this game was gonna go, and uh, I've been I've had I've been pretty much it's pretty much been smiles from beginning to end. Uh, it's been a fantastic game. Okay, so it looks like we're grabbing this. Convince you you must buy it at some point. Yeah, I just wait for Nintendo to put it on sale. Nintendo does that all the time, right? Hmm? Try Kirby Planet Robobot. It was one, that one was sick as well. What's it like going from Elden Ring to this? Well, here's what you're not fucking understanding because you're a moron. Uh, I have played in the past month. I've played like I don't even know how many Mario World ROM hacks. Super Mario Brothers One, Super Mario Brothers Two, Super Mario Brothers Three, Super Dram World, Mario 64, Mario Sunshine, Mario Galaxy. See, in your mind, you're an idiot because you think all I've played is Elden Ring for the past month, and you have no idea that I've literally played like a, a ludicrous amount of games because you're stupid. What's it like going from only playing Elden Ring to playing this? Because you're stupid. Ah. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit the like, comment, subscribe button. <laughs> I love you, Barton. Can't comprehend more than one game. I'm so fucking tired. Like... A, a couple weeks ago, I would have been way more patient to be like, ah, you know, I've been playing a lot of games, okay, but I'm so sick of that comment, I've like completely run out of patience for it. But now you get fucking dumpstered for it. <laughs> just, just run out of patience for it. Huh? This game you played a de-stress after playing Elden Ring. Ah, he's gonna be up. There we go. Ah. Ah. I can't see shit. You need to come back. Okay, let's wait. Let's wait for it all. The let's calm down. Let's wait for it all the reset. Okay. Now we go back. There we go. Now we're good. You're impressed at how long this game ended up being? I the the game I measure all other games by is Resident Evil 3. I was so mad at how short and like pfft, Resident Evil 3 was. That is the game by which I measure everything. This game has already been much longer and more satisfying than Resident Evil 3. Therefore, I'm fine with it. Isn't there kind of like uh, a split in the soul of Resident Evil at the moment? Like the Resident Evil soul is split. So what is the future of Resident Evil? Is it over the shoulder? Is it over the shoulder third person action a la Resident Evil 2 remake and 3? Or is it first person shooter style a la Resident Evil 7 and 8? Like, I don't know what the future is, right? Seems like there's the two differing styles of Resident Evil, and I don't know which one is, like, the dominant one at this point. Remakes of 1 and Code Veronica. They can leave Code Veronica. I've played Code Veronica. They can leave that game in the fucking dumpster where it belongs. I feel like the one remake we already have is really good. Like, the, the one... Like, I, I know some people will never like tank controls, and trust me, I, I fully understand that, that mindset. But I feel like the one remake is fine. Like the, the one we already have. Does it does it necessarily need to be updated to third person action mode? Like, I don't know. You saw Juz's comments on Code Veronica. What did Juz say about Code Veronica? That game is fucking terrible, dude. It's just a bad game. You have a soft spot for the uh, the Revelations games. Yeah, I've never played those. Ah! The 
The remaster is damn near a perfect remaster. I mean, yeah, okay, the controls are the controls are awkward. I, I get it. Okay, fine. He liked it a lot. He thought it'd hold up well. You know, I, I, I at some point I feel like I'm being fucking trolled by, by people's <laughs> by people's opinions. I swear to God, I'm being fucking trolled. I don't know. I don't know how you play Code Veronica and you enjoy the game. Like maybe it's like ah, it's whatever. It's I tolerate it. I don't know how you fucking like that game. Code Veronica has Steve. Steve. I'll catch you later, Claire. <laughs> See, I found these golden guns. <laughs> See you later, Claire. I don't know. I don't know how you fucking. I don't know how you tolerate that game. Oh. So, is this gonna... Okay, so I just have to jump and get it. Got you. Oh. And that was my only shot. Well. See you later, I guess. <laughs> see you around next time, I guess. I took a moment to remember Steve. Oh, man. In the end, none of the Resident Evils have amazing writing. It isn't like, oh man, the writing in re this Resident Evil is amazing. Probably I feel like the first Resident Evil that had like somewhat better writing, I would say is probably seven. But even, I feel like seven goes a little far with the, I, I hate the trope of the evil little kid. I fucking hate that trope in, in, in horror. The evil child. I'm sorry. Children aren't scary. They're fucking irritating. They're irritating first and fucking annoying and, and infuriating more than they are. Like, I'm so I'm so sick of the evil child in horror. I don't know who are these people that are so scared of kids, but grow up. Um, anyway, aside from the Evelyn part, I feel like Resident Evil 7 is kind of cool in the way it's written. And I actually do like... I feel like it's interesting how you go from hating. Is it the Bakers? Is that their name? I can't remember the, the family. I feel like you you start off hating them and they're like despicable monsters. And then you at the end, you actually really feel bad for them, right? Cause you like, you talk with them and it's like, it's like, oh my God, this poor guy, you know, like, I don't know. So I, I feel like that's kind of cool in the end. It's kind of a, a neat way to do the game. The only one you don't end up feeling bad for is uh, the, the younger, the, what is it? The, the guy with the, that tortures you, I can't remember. I remember his name. The escape room guy. That guy's just straight up douche. <laughs> the sun, yeah, yeah. The sun is the one that you you end up don't you don't sympathize with. I can't remember. You hate yeah, that guy you keep hating. That guy was just an asshole, yeah. Uh Lucas, that was it. Yeah, Lucas. He but he was a good villain, right? So you have the Marguerite and the guy and the guy, which are, you know, you feel bad for them and you, you end up hating the sun even more. Okay, so we've always I think the one I missed earlier was that that was the one I didn't get the switch for. His boss fight was really cool. Resident Evil 7 has some slightly better bosses than the other uh, rest of the games, for sure. Resident Evil's boss fights are uh, not the highlight of the series. Let's put it that way. Okay, so we're in a maze. Have I seen the bad seed? Uh, I don't know what that is. Hmm? Did I like Dead Space 3? Uh, I actively avoid Dead Space 3 like it's the plague. Uh, I actually watched a little bit of Patty play Dead Space 3. I watched him play it a little bit. And it confirmed everything I've ever, like, heard about the game. It looks fucking trash. It looks terrible. It was such, like, a bland... And it's not Patty's fault. Like, it's he was actually having a good time playing it for the most part. It's such a bland paste of a game. It's an, insu it's an insult to, to Dead Space. An insult. It's like a champion's road. I think something like that. Something like that. It's like maybe you can have fun with a friend, but like 
even that's being pretty generous to it, I would say. You were not having a good time. Subscription. It was fun to watch, but yeah, the game is just stupid. Okay, let's see. Would you lock me out of here? Jeez. So, do I need the bomb, maybe? Uh, Archivist, thank you for the 59 months. Thank you, Archivist. There we go. Aha. Ow, you fucking piece of shit. Boo sounds, thank you, Archivist. Uh, Giraffe Killer, thank you for the 47 months. Thank you very much. Somewhere here, it still says there's more. I don't know where. Hmm. Yeah, I honestly don't know where there could be more. Hmm, not seeing it. We got the one up top too here, right? Yeah, we got that one. Hmm. Oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. Hang on. There we go. Okay, that man, some of this stuff is sneaky as fuck. That's some sneaky shit. Very sneaky. Yeah, they're doing a Dead Space 1 remake. Um... Uh, so let's see. We can take the uh, crystal hat. Let's try the crystal hat. Why not? Try this out. This Evil 5 sold so well that the game shifted hard to copy the co op action form formula to just cash in. Well, that certainly sounds like something EA would do. Jeez, man. What is this shit? Look at this Dark Souls shit. Ow! got fucking killed there damn cool fight i wish uh i kind of wish i'd gone into the fight without the uh power up though i feel like the fights are more deliberate and more fun when you don't have a power up when you when you are just kirby i feel like they're more fun when they're when you're just kirby yeah the bosses are quite well made also the, the bosses are quite well made Barb, your chat is full of furries. Well, have you ever considered this toxic Yosh is that whatever somebody chooses to do in their own personal life is their own fucking business and who cares? You know what I mean? So keep on, keep on, keeping on. If you're not hurting anybody, then what fucking difference does it make to you? Ever considered that? Maybe, maybe uh, do that. I would say that that's none of my fucking business and I don't care. And there's a subscribe button. 
I could give two shits. If loving Kribby makes me a furry, I don't want to be hairless. Yeah. As long as we all agree on the wonders of Twitch Prime. That's all. That's the only thing that matters here. <laughs> here let's go back to uh, Waddle D Town real fast. Uh, Kianas, thank you for the eight months. Thank you, Kianas. Did you ridicule people who like games you think suck? No, it's that people want to argue with me about games like Sub Skyward Sword Switch. that are obviously like have tremendous flaws and they want to argue with me and pretend like they do not. That's that's where I that's where I have issues. That's where I have issues. I mean, in the words in the words of my father, in the words of my father, uh, we are all worm food. We're literally all worm food. So in the end, we're all going to be we're all going to end up exactly the same. All right, let's go here. Let's go take this and let's take a nap. Time for sleepy. Why Barb didn't do Infinite's campaign? I barely played Halo Infinite at all. I barely fucking played it. Uh, Big Fuzzy Archon, Traitorous Alf, Kianis, uh, Booth, Insolent Indolent Ash. Thank you for the resubs, guys. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Thank you all. All right, so we've got some stuff we could upgrade. Um, I think, well, actually, I think the only thing we can upgrade is the ice. There's gotta be, I think there's some more upgrades though. All right, let's go upgrade the ice one. Hi. Multiplayer, not so much. I played a little bit of multiplayer of Halo and I, I gotta be honest, I immediately lost interest in Halo, like pretty much immediately. The ice ability has evolved into blizzard ice. Okay. Uh, what's up, Numba? How's it going? Oh, dude, we're like, we're, uh, so we're still ice skating around. Oh, we shoot. So we shoot icicles now. Neat. <laughs> wow, that seems like a lot of fucking damage if you freeze them. Wow, that seems crazy. Yeah, every single power-up has uh, three tiers of upgrade, it seems. Uh, potentially more. And, uh, yeah. It's pretty, it's pretty cool. It gives you something to do. Like, I don't know if they really super fundamental. Oh, yeah, if you block, you go in an ice cube. I don't know if they super fundamentally change anything, like, about the actual, like, like the gameplay is still relatively the same. But it just gives you something to do, and it's very fun. I like, uh, I like DDD over here, fucking. <laughs> Hi, Kirby. Been a while, hasn't it? Didn't get to say it before, so thanks for saving King DDD. Speaking of, he seems to really like this town. He's been resting to help himself heal. Actually, we have something to give you. It's a blueprint from King DDD. A gift from the king. What an honor. Masked hammer blueprint. Now you can evolve the hammer ability. Take it to... Oh, no. I, I guess I need more stars, right? Man, I'm curious what that looks like. Yeah, we probably need more stars before we can get that. Let's take a look. Is that a, is that a, that's a tier four hammer? Yeah, I, I think it is. The king's hammer is dope. Yeah, I haven't seen it yet. Yep, tier four hammer. Five stars? Come on, man. I don't have anywhere near enough for that. <laughs> Fuck, I don't have that shit. Can you fish for stars? I don't think so. I don't think you can. Oh, maybe I should have uh, checked out the tournament. Maybe I should have checked that out. Passwords, yeah, I think, um, hang on. oh, I, I actually, I didn't realize I was coming here. Uh, I think, so this one I need the tornado, storm tornado, I don't have that one. Wasn't there an ice one here I've never done? I think I was waiting on an ice one here somewhere. There it is, there it is. Blizzard ice treasure, uh, one minute. They covered Fire Emblem too. I think they covered Fire Emblem about 18 times. <laughs> yeah, I think they covered that one. Yeah, I'd agree standing on a Donkey Kong RPG. Freeze and find.
Okay. Oh. Wham! Come on. Go. Oh, I didn't realize what was happening there. Open it! Pokemon Country Adventures? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, did I get it? Hey, we got it. Hey, GG. Uh, will Bar beat the target time? The answer is yes. We beat the target time by about five seconds. Not bad. Easy. Five Splatoon games to every one good Nintendo game. All right, so uh, I've done all the other ones. For this other this other one, we need the tornado power up for this one. I don't have the tornado power up for that. So I guess we have to go back to Waddle D Town. Is there a way to like look at all of the worlds like and take inventory of what you've done or haven't done? Is there a way to like look at that? Control settings. Yeah, how do you, how do you actually do that? Oh, you press minus. Oh God, <laughs> is, that, is that right? <laughs> what did I, what did I just open up? Oh my God. And on the over, so you press, wait, you press minus on the overworld. Okay, like, hang on, let's go back here. Oh my God. Splatoon three later this year. I've never, I've never even tried Splatoon. Maybe I would enjoy it, I don't know. Oh, stage list, here we go. Ah, oh, here we go, so it's Y, it's, there you go. So this tells you every world. So in the first world, we got 35 of 46 Waddle Dees. Uh, we got 37 of 47 here. 39 of 48, 38 of 49. Like I, I missed about like 10 to 11 in every world, it seems like. Oh, okay. And this gives you the treasure road list as well. So there's secret, there's suspicious places I've missed. Ah, uh, okay, so it also tells you here too. Wow, so I missed a lot actually, I missed a lot. Okay, hang on, let's go, uh, can I Can I quickly warp to... Can I warp over there? Aha. Uh -huh. So there are suspicious places somewhere here on the map. Somewhere here. This is the first world. Um, this looks suspicious. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I found it. Okay. Cone. Wow. Three stars of difficulty. Cones, cone mouth, burst and rise, a path full of pipes. Three stars of difficulty. All right, let's do it. For whatever reason, FromSoft has always been kind of bad about making sure every weapon is like usable. Like that, they're, they're always like that. How much faster could I have gone? Was I that slow? Could I have been much faster? Oh! By two seconds! By two seconds! Hell yeah! Will Bar beat the target time? Yes. There we go. Two in a row, baby. I thought while well, the timer was about to run out, I thought I thought I'd fucked it up. Usually there's usually the timer isn't quite so tight on these. So I was surprised by that. Alright, let's see. Stage list. 
Uh, this is the treasure road list. So, okay, that we've got seven out of seven on natural planes. Okay, so there's two hidden treasures in Everbay Coast. Okay. All right, so we got to find the hidden treasure. Probably one over here. Yeah. Am I going for a hundred percent? Oh, we'll see. I think getting every single Waddle D could be tough. Right now, I'm trying to get the D the DDD hammer. I want to get that one. Invincible Rampage. Thirty seconds. Yeah, I'm also not a fan of motion controls. Also that. Excuse me. Here we got. Ah! Ah! Are we good? Hey, dude, three in a row. Three in a row by a second and a half. Hell yeah. Will Barbie be the target time? Yes. <laughs> Persona 5 would be too long for my liking. I do like RPGs. I'm just really picky about RPGs, and they don't all do it for me. So that's all. Uh, let's see. Stage list. There's one more here somewhere. One more somewhere. Looking for a suspicious area. Hmm. Hmm. Looking for something sus. We're looking for something sus. I'm not seeing anything sus. You guys see anything sussy? Ah, ah. Found it. Looking kind of sus there. Looking kind of sus. Stairs, mouth, treasure. Step it up, moving the stairs. A minute 45. I can only I can only stream so much, guys. Eventually. Eventually, who knows? Alright, let's do it. Oh, I was dude, I was pressing the wrong button. Sometimes you press the wrong button, guys. What? Wait, why? Why is it moving it? Why does it keep doing that? What? I don't understand. Like I put it on here, I spit it out. Oh, wait. So am I spitting it out like forward? Is that what's going on? Okay, I understand. Okay, so Kirby kind of vomits it out forward. I understand now. Okay, I got it. He bleh, he spits it forward. It took me too long to realize that. <laughs> got you. Okay, so that's doing that same thing. That probably means I'm dead. Oh man, so you've got to like figure out where to put what here, don't you? Man. This is like fucking playing Tetris. What is this shit? <laughs> it's like I'm literally playing fucking Tetris. Okay, well we got one. Blech. Blech. Uh. Hmm. 
Maybe that's what we wanted to do. Okay, so there's... Where, where is the last one? It's like those two. So there's one more. Okay, tricky. Cool, that was a cool one. Very puzzly, very, that one was like, almost like a little Tetris shifting puzzle. I, I wasn't even close on that one, not even close. Uh, will Barb beat the target time? Nope. It took me too long to realize that you were, you, when you vomited the stairs forward, that's how that, that's how that works. It took me too long to actually realize that. Some of these names are funny, like, I don't know, name it Stair Mouth. See, I missed all these stars on my first one. I like how you can just glide from one area to the next. Uh, it's very, they, they did it very smooth. I like that. Uh, Spiffy, thank you for the 10 months. Thank you, Spiffy. So there's only one I missed here. We got to search for a suspicious spot. Hmm, looking for something sus. Oh, I found it. What's up, Mori? How's it going? Pretty sus here. What is happening with Kirby Souls? Pipe mouth treasure. 40 seconds. I don't know. I'm, I'm like vaguely curious what got nominated for best picture, but I could, I could really give a shit. I don't care. Still on your first. Okay, go. Oh, I wanted to hit that. Jump. Jump. Oh, it's weird. Oh, no. No, I gotta hit the bomb. Shit. No, that just fucked me. Pretty sure that fucked me. Come on, let me fuck up once, game. I only fucked up once. I needed to jump there. Shit! <laughs> Damn it. Ah, oh, come on! <laughs> come on. Man, they really reset you. They really reset you. Damn, man. They really, really reset you. Will Bar beat the target time? Answer was no. All right, we're going to run it back. Same bet. Same exact bet. Now I've seen the level. Now will I beat the target time? Sagara hasn't made a Kirby game in years. All right, let's go. You sleep past 9 a.m. I feel like a douchebag. Yeah, I understand that. Right, we're trying again. Bro, what the fuck? This one's fucked up. This one's fucked up, dude. Was I going too fast? Was I going too fast? Let's see. Man, I still didn't get it. I still didn't get it. <laughs> Will Bar beat the target time? No. Still didn't get it. Man. The short hops are tricky. It is. It is tricky. Yeah. Definitely tricky. All right. So I think that was the last challenge rift here. And that means we can go get the DDD hammer. Let's go get the DDD. I want to see it. Let's go get it. I want to see that hammer. 
You thought it was 45? Yeah, you can't you can't fall even once, yeah, for sure. This man can beat Dark Souls but cannot beat Kirby a child's game. I I've, I've already beaten the game. Uh Orderus, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Thank you Orderus. Hanlam, thank you for the 14 months. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. I've already beaten this game. I don't know what you're talking about. Whoa! What the fuck? <laughs> what is this? A new treasure road portal in Redgar Forbidden Lands. Okay. It fucking fires a goddamn tornado. Okay, it probably, the single hit probably does less damage than the previous hit, but who cares, man? Holy shit. <laughs> Bro is too OP. Kirby shouldn't be able to fucking power stance hammers. Jump attack and hold B. All right, hang on. So we opened up a new challenge rift here too. Okay, that's what we just opened up, I guess. Low strength run. Uh, excuse me. Mast hammer treasure. Attack. Mast hammer trial. It says target time a minute 40. All right. A minute 40. This is probably going to be one, a combat one, I would guess. Continue the jump team marathon. I mean, I guess the only thing I didn't play for jump team would be uh, rack. But even, but rack isn't even really jump team, so... Oh, your life. Whoa. How am I even doing that? this one I just fucking died I just died. Damn, dude. I just fucking straight up died. Jeez. This one's hard. Will Barbie the target time? No. This one's fucking hard, man. Jeez. That one got me, man. And they want me to beat this in, uh, in a minute and a half, too. Wow. The tough one. Hmm, man. This is not an easy one. Maybe I should do the uh, triple charge more. This takes so much time to charge that up. I feel like that's no way that's the answer, right? Yeah.
I lost this much? How are you supposed to do this as much faster? I started off with three minutes. The game wants me to already be done. How would I fucking ever do that? <laughs> I don't understand how you're even supposed to go that fast. I don't, I really don't even understand. How, did the, how does, how on earth would I ever go that fast? I'm gonna fucking die again. Holy shit. How did I do that? Where am I? Man, this one was fucking hard. Holy shit, I barely survived. Forget winning, I barely fucking survived that one. It seemed like there was uh, some way to chain together exploding hits. I didn't, uh, I didn't see how to do that. I didn't see how you're supposed to do that, man. There was like, you see that? Hmm, interesting. Well, that was a tough one, actually. Practice, yeah, that was probably one of the hardest ones. Did you accidentally mid-roll? Uh, what was this? This money? Aha. Oh boy, what is this shit? New challenge rift? We found a hidden portal to treasure road. Let's see what we got. Car mouth treasure. Oh boy. Collection, collection lap circling circuit. These have been fucking tough, man. Call my wife, ask for coffee. <laughs> coming back i should hope so if she's gonna leave me could she at least take the cats too <laughs> that'd be great well there was probably a shortcut i needed there Oh shit, the track changed. Oh, this, ow, fuck you. This is cool. Oh, come on. There was nowhere to go. Go, idiot. like the one time I only fell the one time man six seconds I only fell the one fucking time too six goddamn seconds didn't make it six seconds and that fucked me will barb hit the target time no did not uh does my wife work no she does not what is this it's kind of weird. There's like, no it looks like there's like definitely something here, but there's like nothing. Uh, all right, let's go back to Waddle Detail. Let's go back to the sta the stages we were at. Get the butterflies for crafting. I know you're not wrong. Is this game worth it? I would say yes. I would say absolutely yes. No, no, no. That's the wrong thing. I gotta, I gotta go up the thing. Single income as a full time streamer. That sounds pretty sweet. I mean, I think with streaming. There's a lot of idealization about, you know, streaming. And I'm obviously like super fucking fortunate, but uh, it's not, it's, there's definitely, there's definitely upsides and downsides, but uh, I'm, I'm definitely very fortunate to do what I do for sure. Um, I think that I, I feel like as a streamer, you're naive if you don't have at least something of an existential crisis sometimes. Because it's it's effectively a popularity contest, right? It's it's a constant, never-ending popularity contest, 
And if I start losing, if I lose the popularity contest, I lose income. Like, doesn't that sound kind of nightmarish? <laughs> it's it's kind of nightmarish, don't you think? 91 and still so humble. Yeah, I also work like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm chained to my work in a lot of ways, but um, like most entertainers. Dystopian, it's the pain of self-employment. Also, like if you're self-employed in general, taking time off and like you pay for it twice. Cause like if I go on vacation, not only am I paying for my vacation, but I also am losing that income too, because I don't get vacation hours or anything like that, right? So, you know, I mean, and I'm not, I'm not, this is not a complaint at all. It's just that a lot of idealization about, you know, how amazing it is. And it's like a, a life of lavish luxury and stuff, you know? So, right. I also stream about 70, 80 hours a week. I, I don't, I don't need to stream quite that much. I could probably take some time off once in a while, but, uh, self-employment makes it extremely hard to separate work from personal life as well. It is, it is, especially when like, like. There's my bedroom that downstairs. That's where I like relax. Like, it's just hard to not work. Like, even when I stop streaming, I go like, okay, let me work on YouTube stuff. Let me get the next YouTube video out. And it's like a constant, it's like a constant need, you know, it just keeps going. But a vacation fund. No, I don't need a vacation fund. It's not that I, it's more so that like, I don't know. It's just, I've, it's hard to relax sometimes. Like, I, I feel like I don't really know how to relax. And, you know, I'm, I'm not, again, I'm not complaining. Every time I ever talk about streaming, we're like, oh, so hard. I know I've worked real jobs. I know how fucking lucky I have it. I know. What was my last vacation? Uh, last summer, uh, I took three days from streaming. I took three days off. I went down to Florida to see my family. And that was it. That was my last vacation. Or to keep it real and help people understand some of the realities of content creation as a job. Right, yeah. For the most part, people are pretty understanding about it, you know. And, I, and again, I'm not complaining at all. I know, I know how fucking lucky I am, so. Fully aware. Compared to having to wake up at 3 or 4 a.m. to get to my school and you know rush hour traffic and getting my ass fucking kicked by students and fights and shit like i fucking know i, I know how lucky i have it uh i streamed last yeah i streamed about three thousand three hundred hours last year something like that there's nothing saying i have to do that but uh i think uh for for streaming i think absolutely the more time you put into it the more uh it's it's very like it depends obviously but uh the more you put into it the more you're probably gonna get out of it and that goes for like any job pretty much so it goes for anything more you put in the more you'll get out I'm not a morning person you guys you don't have time to invest in property you'd be set our house value is uh i think if you own if you have your own house or your own property uh, for the past couple of years your house property is your your value has gone way up right diminishing marginal returns oh uh, i don't know you know it's like unexplored territory for uh for streaming you know like how much is too much of streaming i mean fucking hey do you look at like ludwig how many hours did he stream uh, how many hours did Tofu stream during his subathon? Right. I think it's. I think content creation is a bottomless hole. I think you could you could literally take like a thousand hours and pour it down the hole, and you'll just keep. There's just always more. There's always more like demand. The demand for content is never. The demand for new content, even subpar content, where I'm like half awake playing like you know mario kart or something like people will people want that people want that so <laughs> people want that yeah or eating a hot dog right 40 days straight i mean 40 days with like the stream never ended or 40 days as in like they didn't take a day off 
Because, man, I don't know how to know when the last day off I took. I don't know when it is. 50 gift subs for a hot dog. You ate those hot dogs real good. I'd do it again. I definitely haven't done the best job balancing my, my work life stuff. I definitely haven't done the best for it. Definitely has not been my strong suit. <laughs> do not encourage us. All right, so where are we going? Oh, sold out. I've got no cans. Need cans. Next to the one you're shaking. Subs for sub. Barb eats a submarine sandwich. Dude, we got we got Publix very close to us. Public subs are fucking baller. So what is uh what is this for then? Why well, am I married? We've been married going on ten years, and uh, we've been together for going on fifteen years. That's how long we've been together? Long time. Fuck. So wait, if there's no can over here. Fuck. If there's no can over here, I can't do anything, right? Did I, like, waste a can? Man. I'm mad. <laughs> maybe, oh, uh, can I go get... Maybe I can go get it back and try again. Yeah, wife and I have been together a long time. I was too trigger happy. Okay, we've got only three shots. Okay, we have three soda cans in here. <laughs> uh, this is the first time the ammo in the can has ever been relevant. It's always like, oh yeah, here's 150 shots or whatever. This is the first time it ever actually mattered. Katie has to remind you of how old you are. Does she have to remind you of when your anniversary is? No, no. I know fully well the date of our anniversary. I just, I forget. It's like, what is it? Nine years? Ten years? Eleven years? I forget. That's, that's what I forget. I've been married longer than your average Mario viewer has been potty trained. Yep. Let's go get the hammer here. Damn it. So you can like chain those strikes together with the mast hammer and you, that's probably how they want you to like do that challenge where you have to do it in like a minute and a half because that's, that's a lot of... Yeah, I think that's probably how they wanted you to do that one. I'm not alone with their spouse running them their age. Oh yeah, I think it's just a thing. It's because eventually, here, here's if you're, let's say you're in your, your, your like 19, 18, 20, like you're in your early 20s. Eventually you just stop caring because it just doesn't matter anymore. Like 31 and 33 are effectively the same thing. Like it doesn't matter anymore. Like who cares? All it is is all it is is a sense of encroaching dread as you start getting closer and closer. Like. And you just kind of turn your brain off to it. It doesn't matter anymore. It stopped being something to look forward to. So that 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 at least is my experience with it. <laughs> huh. So I need fire? Where's there fire? Interesting. Oh, wait, can I? Does, oh, okay. So this fire works to melt that. I see. Okay, cool. I got you. Understood. So now we can go back and do this one. That's cool. Surprising amount of depth in the power-ups in this game, I would say. Okay, it actually is still kind of tricky. Ha <laughs> ha. 
How are you supposed to do this? So I keep like hitting the wall. Uh, can I get on top of it maybe? No, I can't get on top of it. So how am I supposed to do this? Oh, oh, so you can like charge it and then you can charge it and then go and I see. Understood. Cool. I'm to the point where I have to do a bit of arithmetic to remember my age. Loving this game, go Kirby. Yeah, I think it's cool that Kirby got like a game that I, I feel like is actually like really good. I think Kirby for a long time has been a kind of meh series. It's like, oh, okay, yeah, little stupid little kids like it. I feel like I don't remember the last time there was a Kirby game that to me felt like a must play. I'm also not like super versed on the franchise. Like I haven't played every Kirby game, so. Oh, let's, uh, let's take a nap. Nap time. That's not true. Robo Kirby. Yeah, like I said, I'm not super versed on the franchise, but very, very few Kirby games like end up on my radar, I guess. You know, I guess that's my point. Get my hammer back. Uh, I can just use the end digit to whatever the current year to know my age. All right, so they're offering me the crystal. Let's go ahead and take it. Uh, Brown Note, thank you for the 26 months. Love your content and all the time you dedicate to the stream. Hey, well, thanks for watching, man. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, Brown Note. Kirby's Dream Course, pretty great. Kirby plus golf. Yeah, we're talking about the uh, Super Nintendo game that came out like 25 years ago or something, dude. Hey, Bart, remember that game? It's like, yeah, dude, that was like 25 years ago. <laughs> How many years ago was that? Uh, let's see, do they want me to take the fire? Okay, it seems like no. You feel old now? Old now? I would love Kirby's Dream Course. I enjoyed uh, Kirby Superstar. I think my only my only thing I'd I'd say about Kirby Superstar is I prefer like the mini game format of Kirby Superstar is like okay once but i would probably not play it again just because like okay i did it i'm good i'd prefer to play like a full game instead of like a bunch of mini games i guess like the f i didn't really care i didn't really care too much for the format of it still a good game still a good game this kirby's version of storm my favorite kirby game was air ride on the gamecube i never played that one never played it Came out in 96. Yeah, that was only, uh, what was it? What year is it? It was 20. Wait, how many years ago was it? If it came out in 96, how many years ago was 96? How many years ago was that? 22, 26 years ago, 25 years ago. God. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, multi person. Thank you for the nine months. Thank you. Multi person. Crystal Pepsi Thief. Thank you for the Twitch Prime. Thank you, Crystal Pepsi. 1990 was 42 years ago. Aha. Got it. Cool. We're doing a much better. I like that the game tells you when you got all the things in an area. Well, I do. I do like that's a nice touch. You're old then. Chat needs a calculator. Ow. Ow. Hmm, 
do I want you there's a oh there we go got you got you ah so far, I'm from the 80s and 90s cartoons as I Love Lucy and Nick at Night were from us as kids. Uh, Elendi, thank you for the 13 months. Thank you, Elendi. Okay. Is a tomato from Smash actually from Kirby? Yeah, yeah. That's from actually from Kirby. A ton of stuff in Smash Bros. is from Kirby, dude. Tomatoes, the stars, the star wands, the fans that you hit people with. In Smash Bros, a lot of that stuff is from Kirby, dude. What a fucking buster. What a buster this guy is. Get fucking wrecked. What a fucking buster. You start watching if you broke up with a girlfriend and just had another breakup. Uh... Listen, lo loved girlfriends and boyfriends may come and go, but Barb's stream is eternal, apparently. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry to hear that, dude. I hope, uh, I hope you're doing all right. Ah. Man, the, uh, so there's, I don't know if the game ever really tells you about it, but there's like a parry system in this game that's really strong. It's really strong. If you last second dodge an attack and then attack back, you do additional damage. It's like a lot of extra, it's like a big, look at that. Look at that fucking attack I just did. I don't know if the game ever really tells you about it. God, anybody else? Whoa, what was that? Get fucking black hole, bitch. Yeah. The real demon soul starts here. We're 40 years removed from the cartoons of the 80s now. You know what's other mind blowing? I know this one's this one's been said many times, but it's, it is still kind of mind blowing. Cleopatra lived closer to the moon landing than she did to the creation of the, the building of the pyramids. Like, some of that shit is actually kind of mind-blowing. <laughs> like, how does that even make any sense at all? Yeah, it's like, what the fuck? So wait, we missed two crystals somewhere? These two crystals. We need a time timeline and charts. Wait, were they all in the fight and I was just like too busy in the fight? I didn't see them. Damn, man. Fuck. The wind carried their way. I didn't even I didn't even see them. I, I it was too much in the fight. Fuck. Oh, well. Oh, no. Oh, this is kind of cool. Interesting, interesting. This game is a 9 out of 10. I'm struggling to think of like, what would I say negative about this game? Like, what are the criticisms of the game? Um, I feel like it's bullshit to criticize the difficulty. I feel like the difficulty is just right. Um, you know? The difficulty seems like it's on the nose for kids. The frame rate, I mean, like, criticizing the frame rate, I feel like that's not a criticism of Kirby, that's a criticism of the Switch. If anything, I'd say this game actually runs pretty impressively well for what it is. I'd actually commend this game on how it performs. Mm. 
Ah! My boat! Oh, that's so cool. Ah, so you can still jump off the boat while it's still moving. Oh, that's really cool. Whee! Ah! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Aha! It looks terrifying. So mega lol. Ah. You were still hoping for more? Uh Really, I feel like this game has had a lot of a lot of content so far. Like uh, I mean, yeah, I've I've been doing like everything, but um I don't know, like I'm still playing, right? We're still going. This is all new stuff. Uh, Vampire Lestat, thank you for the 16 months. Thank you, Vampire Lestat. Okay, so we've got Beyblade and the Ice. I've heard that the Ice is really good versus bosses. I could try it. I haven't seen it. Nice way to use the 3D gameplay is bringing back more bosses from previous games. Phantom King DDD. Oh man, he is fast now. Oh, you, uh, whoa. You, uh, if with this thing, you can't, uh, roll. You know, I, you know, I gotta be honest. I kind of wish I was fighting him without the power up at all. Ow. It's too much like 3D World. Boom. Oh, he's got the big one now. Yeah, you know what? You know what, DDD? I'm gonna let you have this one. I'm gonna let you have it. I wanna fight you without the power up. I'm gonna let you, I'm gonna let you have this one, DDD. Give a moment and say, uh, to talk about our lord here. I want to fight you without the power up. I want to fight you fair and square. <laughs> I want to fight you fair and square. No, you, I think you can't fall off the arena. I want to fight you fair and square. All right. Round two. He was trying really hard to kill you. Kirby can take a punch. Yeah, he can. Dead Kirby is heartbreaking. Fighting, I no bullshit. It's not about me trying to be like, oh, this is hard mode. It's just to me, I actually feel like it's more fun fighting the bosses sometimes without the abilities. Ah. Ah. Ow. Ah! 
No. Oh, no. Oh, so you're, like, supposed to take his hammer, I guess. I guess that's, like, the intent of the fight or something, right? Alright. I don't want your hammer. I don't need it. When an Elden Ring player plays Kirby. <laughs> uh. Got another pillar. Hey! You do more damage with the star. Is that Godfrey or Radagon? Cool. How did you do it? Really fun to, really, really fun to fight the bosses because I feel like it's like the bosses figuring out how to get the stars and when to attack in the bosses with the stars to me feels more strategic than just like spamming whatever your ability is. They're both fun. I just prefer fighting with the bosses without the abilities. Great rune unlocked. Every time I always miss three somewhere. Every fucking time. Doesn't count you use the hammer once. King DD the grafted. <laughs> Bear witness! <laughs> it doesn't really, honestly, it doesn't make it harder or easier, I don't think. I think it's kind of neutral, honestly. Uh, Terminator, thank you for the 25 months. Mbok, thank you for 16 months. Rebo, thank you for the 21 months. Thank you very much. Is the blue squirrel the maiden? We will devour the gods together. Ha, ha, ha. 